همش داره بیرون <laughs> Welcome to Sexplanations in Quarantine. This is my friend Rochelle. You've seen her in previous episodes when we talked about our sexual fears, which we'll get into. But first, let's talk about this. What the heck is it? And what's so exciting about it? Oh my gosh. I have one and now you can get one because I am an ambassador for Crave. If you go to lovecrave.com backslash Lindsay, L-I-N-D-S-E-Y, then you can get one that says, stay curious. It's engraved in my handwriting. Uh, so tell me about why you chose to be connected to this product in particular. Uh, because it's beautiful. It's so like I can wear it with outfits and I'm declaring to the world that I'm a sex positive person who is into pleasure and uh, orgasms and sharing knowledge with the world, right? Like I can go to a speaking engagement and wear this and look super professional. And then people can go, is your necklace, oh, like, what is that little button? And then I can take it off and hand it to them and give them permission to see each of the vibrations. And it's so quiet and it heats up when you use it. So okay. the, I remember the, f the first time I saw you wearing it, I didn't know what it was. And at the time I was looking for just like a long drapey accessory. Yeah, because you're super fashionable. Uh, <laughs> Sure, you are. Um, but I was like, oh, that's so unique. Like that's pendant is particularly long. And then you're like, it's a vibrator. And I was like, oh, what? Uh, and it's so discreet. And that, that is my favorite part of this product. Or actually, no, my favorite. <laughs> Do you have just one? No, I have lots of things I like about this product. My favorite thing about this product was we were actually just watching a documentary the other night. Dilemma of Desire. Dilemma of Desire. And it featured the creator of this product. And what is so cool is that she's, A, it's designed by a woman, and B, it's designed by a really bad ass woman that like cares about design and how things look. So in my experience, sex toys are usually very big, very phallic, um, really oriented around insertion. And what I love about this is it's really focused on the clitoris and pleasure. It's like specifically for pleasuring a clit. Just like set it there. Your body doesn't so have to support a giant dong. Or your wrist, right? Or your like, wrist. Like oh, sometimes holding a vibrator can be really, I don't know, tiring. Cause it's so much product and which for just this part that vibrates. It's aggressive. So I really like that. I also like that it's discreet. Um, so it's like my favorite travel companion. <laughs> <laughs> so airplanes, car rides, um, like any area, you know, anytime you're traveling, you want hammocks. Um, oh, I can't wait for you to hear the hammock story. But wait, so I wear this, but I don't use it. Um, there is an episode called 50 Ways to Hold a Vibrator Without Using Your Hands because I have a hard time with vibrations. But I, I don't. It, but Rochelle does not. And so you have at least one of these, right? I think you have Shan Booties. Yep. So Shan Booty is also an ambassador. You can get her personalized version. My personalized version says, stay curious. Hers, what does hers say? Hers says, I own it. They love it with a vulva like symbol. Yeah, so them. I gave this one to Rochelle so that you could use it and wear it and have this glorious thing. And you do use it. Yeah, and now I want everything in their product line. Oh, mm -hmm. you can do that. Um, if you go to lovecrave.com backslash Lindsay and you put this in, then it will support explanations and then you take this out, but you keep all the other yeah, things. everything else. I think that's how it works. I'll put more information in the description. Your hammock story? I don't know that there's a lot to tell other than what is, I love how portable this is. So if I want to use it while camping or outdoors, I can maybe, for example, use it while in a hammock in the woods. It's discreet and quiet and uh, so lovely. How long does it hold a charge for you? That's that's an interesting thing for me. So I do tend to like products that hold a charge for a long time because I like to play for a long time and I really like the highest speed. For me, the highest setting, like the most vibration, which is what I like, <laughs> uh, is maybe 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and that is an area where I'm like, oh, I would really love it to be like, I don't know, 16 hours. <laughs> just kidding. I just need mine to get through the whole speaking 
uh, season. So like from fall <laughs> through <laughs> spring, if you can just turn on and go through an audience at each speaking engagement, then then we're good. Yeah. Okay, but charging my, and so you know, like this is not something Crave is having me do. I'm doing this. I want to explain this. And I do work for other vibrator companies, obviously. But what I like about this one is that it says, hey, I am pro sex toys and being playful in the bedroom and in your whole house and outdoors and wherever it is consensual and respectful. So this gorgeous little satchel that says Crave on it has two slots, right? So one can there and then here. And then this comes out, little USB charger, screw this in and then plug it into your power source. Charge, 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 and then you have your necklace back to being vibrator. A lot of major airlines actually carry USB charging ports now. So you can charge it on your trip to Europe. Do you use it on your trip to Europe, Michelle? I'm just saying that you could. Use it on your trip to Europe? I don't know whether or not that's legal. <laughs> but it is quiet. But it is quiet. Can you hear it, it on? Not over the sound of a jet engine. I'm assuming. <laughs> I love this so much. Anything else you want to say about it? I've heard compliments about this, but it's um, Me too. nice uh, in playing with partners too, because you can put other... <laughs> I've heard compliments. I've heard compliments about this particular toy in that you can use other things around the vulva, this is my experience, um, and it doesn't get as much in the way as like, a bigger vibrator. I like that the innards of it are medical grade or surgical oh, steel. Oh, oh, easy to clean. And then the coating is, it's nickel free. Ooh. So you don't have to worry about allergies. I don't know that my earlobe would support them. This is, it's a little heavy, but that's what like makes it look so, do you look like, Mm, mm, yeah, it's like a billboard, wearing a billboard saying you support pleasure. Sexuality, <laughs> curious. My boots are in a box. Like it, when you wear it around, do, do people say like, what is that? And then do you tell them what it is? Do you say necklace or do I you say vibrator? I don't use mine as an accessory. So we are like, we're swapped. So you use yours as an accessory, but not a sex toy. I use mine as a sex toy but not an accessory. Really? Yeah. But I do like having the necklace because then it doesn't get lost when I'm playing. Yeah. We make a good team for this product. We like puzzle pieces. <laughs> and if you're smart, you would use it for both. But you don't have to, and you don't have to get it no at pressure. all. pressure? No, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> lovecrave.com <laughs> slash Lindsay with an E. I'm happy. I want the world to have this. I want to have like garments or accessories that symbolize different things. Like flagging. Uh, yeah, flagging. I, this is like flagging sexual empowerment, sexual health, pleasure. curiosity, pleasure, all of those things. So I, I would like more people to have them. And I really Pro like pleasure. this. Pro female creative sex products. It's pretty freaking cool. Stay curious.